Hello there, Crimson Willow. Hello, Grimthorpe 101. Got a bit of a... Hello there, Crimson Willow. Oh dear. Did Hello, you... Grimthorpe 101. Didn't mute that. Okay. Now it's muted. All should be well now. Okay. Let's see. Wait, oh. This is the girl who, like, told us about the dungeon thing here. Double greetings for you. Yes. Uh, welcome back. How was the other side? <clears throat> What even was that? It looks just like a place I'd seen before, but different somehow. It would appear this door is connected to a different time layer. Time plane? Uh, never mind that. Did you remember anything? It doesn't remember. Yes, it's still fuzzy, but I do feel like I've recovered a lost memory. That's great. What is it? After all, we've had first greetings, greeting, but what about second greetings? <laughs> well, I remember searching for some kind of light. If I can find this light, or what it represents, maybe I'll solve the mystery of why I'm here. Even now, I feel the pull of that light, guiding me toward my purpose, my destiny. It's no good, I can't remember. Hi, kitty. What a weird memory. It only raises more questions about who you are and where you came from. I'm sure if we persevere, we'll get closer to the truth, little by little. Tell me if you ever feel like exploring the world beyond this door again. Once we complete, I think it takes a thousand another dungeon runs to complete her quest. Doesn't have anything new to say now? Okay, what I wanted to do was run uh, some character quests for these people. Uh, I can't do any more of Tiramis's. I can't do any of Coco's. I think we, we did all of Cyrus's. Yeah, okay. We have to get him to level 5 to do that. 5 stars, sorry. Level 15. Can we do... Doors. Okay, we can do... We can do Victor's first one. We'll do Victor's, and we'll probably work on Nomar as well. Because I need someone to be a sacrificial tank. Okay, Baruoki. Baruoki we go. Open the map. I don't know why, but I often try to click on Antiquity when I'm going to Baruoki, but Baruoki is not in Antiquity, it's in the present. So. Aldo's hometown. After all, it is the town where he lived as a cat, and then it's the town he ended up back in when, uh... When he got traveled through time again. Makes it his hometown twice over, I guess. That's a quest we can start. I'm not gonna do that right now. Instead, we will talk to this lovely man. Trainee guard's job. No more's quest. No more and company have been asked to rid the Carrick Swampland of monsters by the Baruki merchant. Coming from a familiar face, he took the job. Very metropolitan of him. <laughs> hey Aldo, you got a minute. I need to ask you a favor. Sure, anything to help out my fellow villager. What's up? Thanks, lad. It's like this. There's a monster on the Carrick Swampland I'd like you to defeat. Is that all? No problem. I'll have it taken care of in no time. This is the kind of thing's part of my village guard duties anyway. Great, glad to know you're on the case. My daughter's coming home from Unigan today. I wanted to make sure the road's safe. Oh, she's coming back today. You know her? Yes, she and I have been friends since we were little, since before I met you even. Yeah, these two are thick as thieves. My girl's really strong willed, though. Wish some of your caution had rubbed off on her a little. Oh, I'm sure I. That is she. Anyway, that's how things are. If you could go and meet her after you've dealt with the monsters and see her home, that'd be swell. We'd be happy to. She'll be waiting for us in Unigan, right? Yeah, I made her promise not to come back on her own. Thanks for the help, guys. I like the quests in Unigan, or not Unigan, in Baruoki, because I think the people know Aldo. More of a, hey, as our village guard, can you help me out with this thing? Unless of a random stranger, please do this thing for me.
Okay, we gotta kill some monsters and then probably kill some more monsters. That's usually what the quest entail. A lot of monster killing. Whoa. Beseech the randos. Is that what you do when you're out? You're like, oh yes, random person! Please help me with my minor tasks. Frog. What is a monster like this doing here? They live here, Nomar. We, we kill them all the time. They call him Nomar. Just do like we practiced and you'll be fine. You're right. Well, you don't kill them all the time, Nomar. Tiramis kills them. I mean, these guys are so weak. I think we can just do this. Yeah. When I can't find something at the store. <laughs> You're like, store employees, please help me. Cats are knocking things over. That takes care of them. You okay, Nomar? Huff huff. My, my hands are still shaking. We're safe now. Take some deep breaths and get yourself together. Oh, right. Deep breaths, deep breaths. I am all right now. Sorry you had to see me like that, although I should have been more prepared. Trust me, you get used to it. All you need is a little more experience, then battle won't phase you so much. I hope so. I'll train hard so I can be a great, as great a fighter as you someday. Probably because his hair's getting hard. I'm flattered, but I hardly think I'm the best role model for you. Royal City's only a little farther. Can't keep that old friend of yours waiting, right? Only a little far. We're not even, like, halfway there. Hello, kitty. We're gonna take Salasa with us. Look at how round Salasa is. Oh, so round. You're the fool to challenge me. Uh, yeah, these guys are low level, so we should be able to just, yeah, smack them down. Even yes, with the that fact that Victor, awesome. uh, chubby cat. Yes, such a chubby cat. Oh, I want to go see this cat too. We have this cat. But I know there's a cat here that isn't always here, so I need to check. Come on, kitty. Be my friend. It's Victor has the lunatic skill. He doesn't have a regular attack, so I have to use an ability if I want him to deal damage on the first turn. Look, it's like a tiny version of Salasa. Your name, tiny one. Leon. Okay, we're missing some cats in Octual, Palace of the Palace, Last Island, Rin. Wait, do we have all the... No, we're missing both the Baraoki cats that aren't... that aren't, uh, Varuo. How unfortunate. There's three cats in Baraoki. There's Varuo, and then there's two others that aren't there all the time. They have, like, certain times they're there. Get on your knees and surrender! And I never remember what those times are. I did write them down in my spreadsheet of yes, that was awesome. cats, you know, so I can keep track of the cats I've collected and their levels. Another Eden is really great if you want to make spreadsheets of all the different things for no real reason. Let me in for the city. This must be the person we're here for. You're late. I wanted to leave a lot sooner than this. What kind of escort are you? Sorry about that, but we only took our time to make sure it was safe for you to travel. Of course. I'm sorry I was short with you. That was uncalled for. Is it okay if we leave now? Sure. Your dad's probably looking for you out for you already. But leave as soon as we replenish our supplies. Get everything ready, okay, Nomar? Yes, at once. Wait, Nomar, is that you? That armor. Don't tell me you joined the village guard. Look how shiny and lovely. So pretty. Uh, yeah, I did. I'm still a greenhorn right now, though. Why'd you do a thing like that? A weakling like you could never cut it in a job that tough. Hey, I'm not that bad. No? Can you look me in the eyes and say that? That's enough, you two. I'm sure you have a lot to talk about, but we're burning daylight here. 
We can finish this conversation when we get back to Baruoki. Alright. Don't go too far from us? Okay. It should be safe now, but you never know. Don't worry. I'm a traveling merchant's daughter. I know what's what. No journey can be completely safe. I'm well aware of that. Great, then we're on the same page. Also enjoy saying Rrrg. Great, then we're on the same page. Let's get moving. Not quite what he said, but I don't care. Be back to the swamp. But surely there is no way a situation will arise in which, uh, which Nomar will have to defend her. Look at this scenery. Such a beauty. Get on your knees, it's awful Splendor. open and uh, blue for a swamp, though. I kind of imagine swamps more foresty, you know, with all those swamp trees, but maybe that's not the only kind of swamp there is. Because this feels less like a swamp and more like a lake full of plants. You're a fool to challenge Impossible. me. No way it'll happen. What? sad thing is I don't think we can do Victor's last quest because I think it requires us to have cleared the shadow the shadow the, the uh, tower and the shadow witch which obviously we have not done it's not a very marshy swamp mm, that's fine but I think even if we can just unlock the second level of Victor's ability it'll be good I really need his ability to uh, charge the AF bar to make it go longer because we don't have a zone, so he'll make it so we can uh, better. Hey, we didn't even have to fight anyone. Miracle. Ah, you're back. Hi, Daddy. I think it was a little overprotective of you to hire the guard to bring me back. Don't be silly, girl. My main concern was with getting that monster out of the swamp. Couldn't allow it to block up the trade routes like that. Okay, sure. Thank you both for all your help today. No problem. This place is my home too, after all. In that case, we'll pay you back by getting some real high quality products in. Sounds good. Oh, and no more? Yes. Are you really serious about wanting to be a member of the Guard? I only say this because I don't want you to get hurt. I just don't think you're cut out for it. I like his metal skirt thing. Made my choice. Okay, if you're sure. Wow, I've never seen her go quiet for this long before. Way to go, Nomar. Don't be such a jerk, Daddy. Hehehe. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Thanks again, guardsmen. Good to know the safety of the village is in good hands. Those. All those just sitting there staring. <laughs> he just often just stands and stares into the distance. No concern. Okay, this must be the second part of Nomar's thing. Yeah, here we go. Nomar's courage. Nomar's quest. The merchant's daughter has asked you to find the materials she needs to make a new project. Old daughter getting savaged. Yeah, these people, they're, uh, they're brutal to each other, you know? S small town folk. Oh hey, just the village guard I was looking for. You need Nomar for something? Actually, I wanted to ask you as well, Aldo. Do you have some free time? Why is my phone ringing? Yeah. Of course, let me guess. It's some dangerous task only a seasoned warriors like us can handle. Yeah, let's go with that. It's vital work for the good of Baruoki anyway. Can't really say no then. Although you basically never get to say no, because you're in a JRPG, you have to do things. You know that huge Prisma mining vein over in Zarbo? I've heard about it, but I don't know too much. Why? I was thinking, what if we bought a bunch of Prisma wholesale from Zarbo and sold it to on and sold it onto the capital? Wow! If you pull that off, it could open a lot of doors for trade with Unigen. Exactly what I was thinking. 
so many people and goods moving through the village, prosperity won't be far away. Ooh, excuse me. That's great and all, but where do we come in? Sales work isn't really my area. Zarbo is right in the middle of the desert. Not many plants are capable of growing there. There is an exception. You know, the lunar grass that grows in the moonlight forest? With a little help from Prisma? That stuff can survive anywhere. Oh, so we harvest a bunch of that and trade it with Zarbo. That's right, I just need your help collecting enough of it to start things off. Okay, I can do that. When do we start? As soon as you can. I'll come with you. You're gonna need me to pick out the highest quality plants. What? Are you sure about that? Hey, I shouldn't be in any danger with a couple of village guards by my side. Although he's using his pouty face a lot and it's not warranted. <laughs> they have a bit limited uh, emotions. You might notice Nomar has uh, no emotions. <laughs> I, I guess, but... But the main character, Aldo, at least gets a couple. Requests like this are all a part of the job, Nomar. You can't pick and choose who you help out. Later five-star characters, uh, because they pretty much stopped adding four-star characters a long time ago. Uh, three to four-star characters. But later four to five-star characters actually do get, like, expressions. Now that's settled, let's get moving. Moonlight Forest. Fancy? It is. It's very fancy. What this is? Might be the training with the mayor? Really unsure. Beautiful, uh... Prismas. Yeah, I'm just gonna run there. BRB, Brecky calls. Very good. I have these cats. Oh, I should have checked in Baroki which cats are there. I need to actually bite in my burrito. Got a little cat scratch feeder. Oh crap, that's my sister's burrito. I'll resolve this later. They were simply outclassed. Got a little cat scratch feeder. <laughs> Ow. Burrito is spicy. Burns my mouth. I ran out of water. I'm gonna run right here and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go fetch my proper my proper lunch. Uh so I will be right back. I need to get some water and some food. I'm very sorry about that.
sorry about that. I am back now. Okay. Now we can continue No More's quest. Now that I have exchanged the burrito that I thought was mine for the one that was actually mine. No good. There's no lunar grass here either. No, Momokins, don't leave. Oh, shit. We've gone pretty deep into the forest now, but we still don't seem to be finding any. Yeah, the guards don't even come this far on their daily patrols. Really? I didn't know that. Or no more. Don't be scared. Lunar grass thrives in places with an abundance of elemental energy. I'm sure we'll find some soon. Want to go further in? There's going to be a lot more monsters from here on. It could be dangerous. So cute. Like his arm. If you're scared, feel free to go home without me. I won't force you to come along no more. But but I'm a guard. I can't just let you adjust here. Okay. Such a weirdo sometimes. We can handle going deeper into the forest if you want. Just keep your wits about you, both of you. Right, let's do this. We should probably not eat my lunch breakfast at the same time as streaming, but I kind of slept in. I choose to blame my cat for waking me up a bunch during the night. I love these anemone things. Finally, this is genuine lunar grass growing here. Will this be enough? Yes, this is perfect. I only want a small sample for now anyway. This is lunar grass, huh? It's pretty. It also has an incredibly hardy nature. A little boost from some prisma, it can take root in even the driest soil. I'm sure it'll be in high demand once we introduce it to the merchants of Zarbo. I hope so. Okay, now is when Nomar needs to valiantly save you and save her from the monster. Whoa, you two get back! Yeah. Hmm. No more. What are you? I I'm doing my duty. I'll protect you. That's the spirit. Let's do this. I can handle this alone. The Avedo's chief is fancy. Welcome back, Grimthorpe. Summoner's gift should definitely be enough to wipe out these guys. Oh, they're dead. Did you see my graceful moves? And Nomar definitely saved her. Are you hurt? No, I'm. Uh -huh. Whoa! Oh man, that was terrifying. You're fighting the ab ab asbestos clan. <laughs> We're looking for grass. Uh, this grass, apparently, and they just attacked. Uh, Nomar, are you okay? You didn't get injured, did you? I'm alright. My hands are just shaking a little. You idiot. What were you thinking? Acting all tough and jumping in front of me like that? Well, like I said, this is all part of my job. What does a weak, fraidy cat like you even want to be in the guard for? One of these days, you're gonna get yourself killed. That's a little harsh, don't you think? It's the truth. If anything happened to you, I... Nomar, tell me straight. Why did you join the village guard? I guess it's because Aldo's in the guard and I've always looked up to him. You're saying it was just a whim. Maybe at first. Then I started actually fighting monsters and, well... Guard, everyone has their own part to play and they're all passionate about protecting what's precious to them. I wanted to be more like them. I wanted to be more the kind of man- Wait, 
wanted to be the kind of man who can protect the ones I care about. I guess that makes sense. I feel like that's where you really belong, though. Oh, uh... Hey, of course it is. Nomar's a model recruit. Diligent, eager to learn, and serious about his goals. If you say so. He can't get by on attitude alone. That's not all he has going for him. He's a capable soldier. Guard wouldn't be the same without him. He's really that good? He's got a great eye for armor and equipment. As we have better gear now, less people are getting hurt. Let's not forget his heritage. His family has great connections to the mining and smithing trades. Can't count the number of times Nomar's negotiated a great deal on some new weapons and armor. She wants the Nomar. <laughs> yes. Really? Wow, I guess you're not such a helpless kitten after all. Hee <laughs> hee. Wait, is that why I always get stuck taking care of supplies? Hehe, <laughs> relax, Nomar. You should take it as a compliment. Gosh, I had no idea he was so needed. Neither did I, to be honest. Nomar Aldo, thanks for coming here with me. I'll just grab some lunar grass and we can get out of here. We'll accompany you the rest of the way to the Royal City. You don't have to do that. I only asked you to help me find the grass. Think of this as a little something extra. We'll see you to the to Unigan and home in time for dinner on our honor. Hear that, Aldo? Says it's fine. I read that oddly. Oh, all right. Have it your way. Work her her to you. Daddy Aldo approves. is almost salsa, but not. I know that's very important. Uh, issue. Will get upset if I go straight to Unigan? I might need to actually be in the carrot swamp when I gotta take a bite of it. Oh. Okay, good. We can't just travel here. Got a burrito? I do indeed. Aldo, no more. Thanks for everything. Need our help again? You know where to find us. Oh, stop trying to act all cool. But, you know, seeing how hard you're working has inspired me. I won't be outdone. I'm going to work even harder from here on out. That's great. I'll be rooting for you. You think I got through to her a little today? Absolutely. She knows you're the real deal. That's wonderful. Tragically, because he is still stuck as a four star, that's the end of his quest line. It's very saddening, really. But on the bright side, we should now be able to level up his, um,. His, uh, I don't think I wanted status. I actually want his ability board. Yeah, there we go. We should be able to unlock his level 4 ability. Which is basically just a better version of his, uh, little thing. Sadness, yes. The four, the four stars who have never gotten a 5 star version make me really sad because they never get any resolution quests. And the quests are usually left, like, not resolved so that they can become four, five stars. I don't know if the ones that- I think the ones that get an AS maybe aren't as bad, but I still really would like them all to get a five star at that point. It's just nice. It gives you a sense of completion. That. Not sure what you mean. Sorry. That's just terrible. Some of the four, some of the five stars are, or the four stars are slowly getting five star versions that can unlock ways. So I'm hopeful that eventually it'll cover all of them, especially because they don't add 
an enter instead of apostrophe. <laughs> Um, they don't add four stars anymore. They used to. They used to. Whenever there was an episode, they would add a five star and two four stars. They don't do that anymore. It's nice because it was a pain. Um, there still are several, quite a few four stars that have never gotten a five star version. Her? Is it kitty? Come here. Come here, kitty. Come here, sweetie. I wanted to show you my beautiful kitty's face, but she cut it off. She was like, no, I don't want to show off my beautiful face. This might be Victor's quest. Hopefully. It is. Life of an the life of an adventurer. Victor's quest. Did she try and steal burrito? Uh, not too much anymore. If I get a burrito with cheese in it, she comes and licks it. Um, but if it doesn't have cheese, she doesn't. Aldo and Victor are chatting away in Unigan. Suddenly, they hear a woman's voice. Sounds like she's in trouble. Time to go save a damsel in distress, I guess. Oh, get rid of this hangnail on the nail. Very annoying. Causing me just... All better. If it's a blade you seek, I've got some new, some, some new, some antique. Come down to Blade Town. Come over for premium produce. Try our verdant veggies, or perhaps you fancy fresh fruit straight from the farm. <gasps> Mew Mew, show your face. Show your beautiful little face. Ooh, look at this beauty. I don't know why she's wandering around and crying. I'm not crying, more like squeaking about things. I see Unigan hasn't changed, just as full of life as I remember it. Just being here in the middle of it all makes me feel like a part of something exciting, you know? Aren't you happy to see my kitty? She is a good kitty. Sounds like you've got history with this place. Did you come here as a kid? Eh, not quite. More like I'd stop here during my travels. It's been a while since I've done any of that, though. So, shops here have anything you could want, and the city itself is booming. It's easy to get in, though. It was, and still is, a great place for travelers to set up shop, so to speak. Yep, same for me. I come to Unigan for weapons, info, and a decent place to stay. Spend a lot of time here. A lot more time in antiquity, although, because that's where I like to go. Ah yes, it's all coming back to me. For some reason, whenever I'm in Unigan, I'll just be minding my own business, and then all of a sudden, someone is like, Please, sir, I need your help. Now that is weird. I get the exact same thing, every single time. Do I have a sign on my back that says, We'll help for free on it or something? Ah, I think I've got the same sign. Probably only a matter of time before we hear somebody help me off in the distance. Somebody help me! Was that? No way. Sigh, is there no one around that can help me? That was quick. Well, within expectations for me. Ha. At any rate, let's go see what that lovely young lady over there needs help with. Oh. <laughs> I mean, she did say she needed help, right? Lovely young lady, huh? Didn't realize he was such a playboy. Although, I walk very slowly to the right. A big skull. We've teleported back this way! We were, like, right here! <laughs> okay. Model's just not here right now. Sigh. Just where did he get off to? Whatever should I do? Sorry, ma'am. We couldn't help but notice you yelling about needing some help. May we be of service. If you don't mind, that is. If you tell us what's the matter, we might be able to help you. And you guys are? No need to be frightened, lady. We're just a couple of traveling adventurers. So please let us help you. Well, you see, my husband went out to pick some herbs, and then he never came back. Now I'm afraid something terrible happened to him. I see. That is cause for concern indeed. 
went out to get herbs for my mother-in-law because she hurt her leg recently. Go looking for him, but I can't just leave her home all alone. Okay, I think I got the gist of it. Me and my companion here will go searching for your husband. Really? You'd do that for me? It's okay with you, Victor. Of course, I knew that's what you were going to say before you even said it. Okay, so do you know where about your husband went looking for herbs? Nope, he just said gonna go pick some herbs and left. Alright, that sounds like you need to ask around. Yeah, perhaps someone might have seen him. Now that we've accepted her quest, we must ask these people three. One, the bartender. Two, the weapons dealer. Three, the sentinel over by the west gate. Hello, oh, my hand is poking my face. These people three? What? Why? Call it an adventurer's intuition, my dear boy. Those three nondescript plebeian commoners will surely have the right information. Intuition? Uh, okay, I trust your intuition is usually accurate. Oh yeah, super accurate. So when we ask the bartender, he will likely say, he stopped by here for a quick drink, but this merchant kept going on and on about how great he was. Then he'll say, he said something about making money off selling herbs. You guys seemed pretty interested. Wow. Weapon stealer guy will likely say, came asking for something that could cut grass. Finally, Sentinel A will say, well, I've been getting some reports of a horde of monsters out near the Carrick Swamp. Whoa, that's extremely specific. I haven't even talked to anyone yet. You're not just making this all up, right? Don't believe me, eh? I am most certainly not just making this all up. My adventurer's intuition never misses. Don't worry, you'll see. Now let's hit those streets. Okay. There's no way his intuition can be that specific, right? Go to the inn, the bar, in the tavern. Hello, good sir. Yeah, I know him. He's one of our regular customers. He stopped by here for a quick drink. This merchant kept going on and on about how great he was. He said something about making money off selling herbs, and your guy seemed pretty interested. Victor, he said the same thing you said. Ah, see, I told you. Let me guess. You weren't able to catch where the merchant got his herbs from, right? Yeah, actually, they were whispering during that part. Guess he didn't want others to hear. Okay, how did you know that? Adventurer's intuition, my boy. Never leave home without it. Hello, weapon dealer. Or presumably, Victor will also be correct. I remember him. He came here to buy a knife the other day. I remember because it was kind of an unusual request. What kind of unusual request? He came asking for something that could cut grass. Victor, that's exactly what you said he'd say. All in the intuition, my dear adventurer. And then, once you sold him the knife, he left really quickly, correct? Yeah, he said, this'll work, and then ran off. Which means you probably didn't see where he was going, huh? Now to the gate guard. Like, two quests we can't do over there. I think they're party, they're, uh, they're party quests. We don't have those people in our party, so we can't do them right now. See anything strange, you asked? Hmm. Well, I've been getting some reports of a horde of monsters out near Carrick Swampland recently. He even paused in the same place as you did, Victor. Good to see I'm not getting rusty. I want to ask about the worried-looking guy that ran past the gate a bit ago. How did you know there was a worried-looking guy that ran past the gate a bit ago? No, no, don't tell. Adventurer's intuition, my dear boy. I don't- I don't do yelling. Intuition? You're right, though. There was a man that fits that description. I told him he can't go out there because of the monsters, but he just pushed right through. Hey, 
Here we go. If you two are heading down through the Carrick Swampland, I suggest you be extra careful. Man, and we just cleaned the place out for uh, for that merchant girl. We will, thanks. Monsters are relentless. Well, it happened just as you said, Victor. There's no way to know if that guy was the, that guy the Sentinel saw was her husband. Okay, let's review. If we think about the information holistically, we're sure to find our answer. Agreed. And based on the information we got, I'd say... We went to the Carrick Swamplands to look for herbs, got cornered by some Sahuagin... Uh, Sahuagin? Sahuagin? I don't know how to say that. And it's stuck there. What? I don't remember anyone mentioning Sahuagin. Didn't say monster hordes, though. But you've been right down to the letter so far. Aldo, wait, I'm getting more. We've had a streak of good weather, so the herbs growing herbs growing in the Carrick Swampland are no doubt exceptional. This caused the herb-loving Sahogan to come out in droves. Sahogan sounds like a tasty food. Well, I think you can eat them. Well, I mean, I think people eat them, which is very questionable considering they use tools. And can speak. So, when the husband went there, gra grass-cutting blade in hand, he got surrounded by Sahogan, making it impossible for him to come back. Logic is sound, at least. At any rate, we should go to the Carrick Swamplands and check. But fine. You'd, ki you'd commit cannibalism for some noms. I mean, it's not cannibalism, they're not people. Now I just want to see if he's right. They're, uh, they're, well, they're not human people. They're weird, primitive fish people. are two quests right next to each other there. It kind of makes me laugh when I walk past them. Let me go to the Kerek Swampland, Leo Fish. Leo Sentient Fish. Okay. Where are we going in the Okay, down there. I really appreciate that you can run with the map open. Uh, it will minimize back to the corner again when you get attacked, but that's fine. They, they like to hang out with the Lizzies. They all can use tools. Summoner's gift was massive overkill for this. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. Totally unnecessary. Ooh, shiny. Mine, mine, mine. I probably have already collected far more than enough of these things. Lizzies are precious. Precious lift, though. Goodness, look at all these. Hey, stop. Shoo all of you. I don't think that's gonna work. Life. Oh, okay, they're a precious life. And now I know there's a quest where you get Lizzie meat to, to eat. That has always a little bit concerned me. Will you look at that right again? No, oh, you're not okay with the eating of the Lizzies. Of course I was. Get with the program, Aldo. Okay, but how do we help him? He's completely surrounded if we're not careful. Chill, Aldo. There are several ways we can approach this. Eat fish, not Lizzie's. <laughs> oh, do tell. I thought you'd never ask. One, you saw Hogan's favorite food as bait to draw them away. Two, run in swords swinging. Three, make the sound saw Hogan hate to scare them away. Those are the three options, Aldo. Choose your adventure. My what? Her, uh, sword swinging sounds dangerous, so... Let's do the noise. Her, wrong answer. Wrong? If we do the noise, there's a high possibility that will also get violent. Go ahead, pick again. Okay, uh, then... Use their favorite food? Ding, ding, ding. You choose wisely, Aldo. Illusion of choice. <laughs> Aldo gets to experience the illusion of choice. Uh, oh, yay, I did it. 
Wait, why didn't you just tell me the right answer from the beginning? Er, never mind. We have more pressing matters. What's the plan? I had a feeling this would happen, so I went and loaded up on their favorite fruit. I'll just use these to lure them away. When did you... Adventurers must always be prepared, my dear boy. Even former adventurers. Okay, he's a former adventurer. Sahuagin, I've got fruit for you. That, that was not yelling at all, but you know. Okay, here they come. Leave them too. Um. Um. Great job, Aldo. Stunning work. He plumped them up. But I didn't do anything. What do you mean you didn't do anything? You picked the plan. Yeah, but I just did what you said to do. Well, at any rate, looks like things are under control. Under control? Afraid not, my dear boy. This case is just getting started. What? Sahagan are gone. The lady's husband is safe. That's it, right? Afraid not, you see? Oh, wow. You two are awesome. You totally saved my life. When those Sahagan surrounded me, I thought I was a goner for sure. But here I am, not a scratch on me. Now you're really hungry for fish, even though you don't really like fish. <laughs> wow! Help me! Oh no, we've got to do something. See? Told you it's not over yet. Well, don't just stand there. You need to chase after them. You'll notice newer characters tend to have much longer quests, like especially first quests, than older characters. Relax, Aldo. There's no need to hurry. My adventurer's intuition is already telling me that the harpy is headed to the Nuaro uplands. Ye. Intuition again? I mean, I guess I have no reason to doubt it now. Oh, Kitty is drinking my water. I just have to cope with it because she's so cute. I can't take her away from the water. She needs hydration. Dude has some hella intuition. He does. Uh, quite the thing. We'll be working mostly on his quests today because I want to be able to unlock as many of his uh, higher level skills as possible. So that I can get the maximum damage and AF bar charge off of it. I think that'll greatly help with the Shadow Witch. Okay. Our plans. Very peaceful location. I mean, this is the first area you fight in the game. So. The enemies are, you know, really weak. Sweet. Rest in peace, little goblins. I don't know why you insist on attacking me. Leads only to your demise. Ooh, pretty fun. I think you can fish there, maybe? Let's go all out! Goblins! Attack! How foolish! I could have handled it myself! Oh wait, I think. You wonder what goblin meat tastes like? Imagine it'd be kind of stringy. Dang, if I want to change voices, I need to go into other. I can't go into other because that's my ID on there. Fine. I meant to switch to the Japanese voices to see what they sound like in Japanese. Now they should be around. Make real good barbecue then. <laughs> Goblin barbecue. Victor, over there. Do I think it stopped for a break. I should use this chance to... Slowly walk away. Uh-oh, I'm dead. Have no fear, Aldo and Victor are here. Yes, thankfully you guys showed up. Ara ara goes the bird. See, harpies can't carry humans over long distances. They just aren't strong enough. What do harpies eat? It's a hug. Got a bunch of saggies? Get a bunch of harpies. Save the exposition for later. We got a man to save. I guess it mistook him for a sahag sa sahagun. 
Aldo, let us join swords in battle. Get on your knees and surrender. He actually gets to be in the front line in his quest. You know what? I'll even let you kill it. Isn't that nice? Stay there. Now this would surely taste like chicken or turkey. Indeed. Definitely. I'm inclined to say turkey, but I think that's just because I like turkey better than chicken. Saved again. Thank you both so much. I thought it was a harpy meal with a side of flies for sure. It's nothing. Just glad you're alright. But... But what? We're done, right? Yes, but... Yes, but what? Come on, Victor. You didn't get your herbs, right? Unfortunately, no. Fair. <laughs> Thought so. Here, take these. Wow, this bag is full of herbs. I need to stop saying herbs, because I don't like to say herbs. I say herbs. Wait a second. When in the world did you find time to pick herbs? I've been- I've literally been with you the whole time. I had a feeling I'd need them, so when I was in the Swamplands the other day, I picked a few. The other day? Are you psychic? Psychic? No, my dear Aldo. It's simply the intuition of a former adventurer. I think intuition is selling it a bit short, Victor. Tomato, tomato. Aldo, let us not worry about such trifles. I can use this to make medicine for my mother. I really can't thank you enough. Can I just say, though, I am very impressed with your knowledge of the area. Let's just say I've been coming here long enough to get a lay of the land. So it wasn't just Unigan you used to frequent then, I take it. Just passed through a lot during my travels. And I need to ask, have you ever been to Baruoki? It's where I grew up. Spoilers, Aldo. Let's table this conversation for later. Spoilers? Adventure speak for a secret, Aldo. Let's get this man back to his wife. She must be worried sick. Hmm, yeah, you're right. Let's head back to Unigan. Power of the map. Truly, really, the most powerful things in this world are the almighty map and Tiramis. She's falling off a bit. We'll get her back in shape in no time. Eventually. <laughs> Need a burrito bite. Oh. Thank you so much for saving my Herbie. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't. All in a day's adventure, milady. Is what I would say if I wasn't a former adventurer. Just glad your husband is okay. Anyway, I think you have some medicine to make. Yes, please go tend to your mother. Right, before we go, thank you. We'll never forget your kindness. If you're ever in Unigan, let us know. I'll do anything to help. Ah, thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Well, we should get going. Off they skedaddle. And case closed? Case closed. Finally. But... Oh, do I sense some adventurer's intuition coming? No, listen, I'm glad this all worked out, but, hmm, how do I put this? Keep going on about adventures, but... This adventure didn't feel like an adventure at all. Really? That's not how I see it. Think about it. It began with a sudden cry for help, a damsel in distress. Ow, my hair is poking my nose. <laughs> then the setup. Ah, a missing husband. We hit the streets. <laughs> After gathering clues, we head out and find a group of monsters. Danger. Best them with our swords, safe at last. But no, a greater evil presents itself. There's a chase and a battle. Action, suspense. 
Finally, the husband is saved and he's even got his herbs. The herbs are then used to save his mother. This isn't an adventure, I don't know what is. I mean, when you put it that way. But what I mean is, it just felt like everything was predetermined. It doesn't feel like an adventure unless I feel in control. I see what you mean. Alright, next adventure I'll make it so it feels like you're in the driver's seat. <laughs> just leave it to me. Yeah, I don't think he gets it. Aldo wants to be top and doesn't like being a bottom. Oh dear. Your second quest here, Victor. Can I do your second quest? I guess the easiest way to know is to... That's not what makes it easy to tell. Let's just take a peek at his quests. Yep, Baru. Okay, starting location, character. We're right nearby. We just run our little feet over there. Are these quests for Soira and Brino? Another day, Soira and Brino. We don't really need you for anything. I guess Brino is part of the uh, Celestial Tower crew. Soira is part of the uh, yeah. Unites and the Holy Sword, but we finished that already, so we don't. <laughs> We don't really need to use her ever again. I mean, I used her, she was... She and Benedict were my main damage dealers for defeating King Palsifal. It was not good. Look at that, Cyrus. You even get to hit the weak enemies when I don't make Tiramis hit everything. Victor's voice bothers me a little, but... Uh, if I ever do put Sawyer in the party, we're, we're switching to Japanese because, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure no matter what she sounds like in Japanese, it can't be worse than how she sounds in English. I say that, but then maybe it'll turn out she does sound worse. Let's go all out! Hopefully not. I mean, I can't- I can't imagine sounding worse than her English voice. I don't know how you mess it up so much. Like, shouldn't she just kind of seem like a sleepy, good-natured person instead of... ...whatever the heck they did? Aldo and Victor visit Baraoki. Then a suspicious man asks them to bring the mayor to the Moonlight Forest. Excitement. So, I'm a little confused by the fact you asked me to go to Baraoki with you. Why is that? Before, when I mentioned Baraoki, you said something about spoilers and tabled the conversation. But I just figured you must have had some bad experiences there. Oh, my dear Aldo. The way you care for your companions, a shining example of a true adventurer you are. You're going to make the next quest the best one yet. Yeah, about that, I don't think you're supposed to plan adventures. And hey, stop changing the subject. Sorry, that was not my intention. Okay, then, why are we going to Baruoki? Hmm, well, you see? You over there with the Stygian hair. Hmm? Really do be like a married couple. <laughs> There is something I need to know. Are you the head of Baroki's kin, the man they call Aldo? Y yeah, I am. What about it? Listen to my simple request. Quest? Yes. Bring the mayor to the Moonlight Forest. Why would I bring him to the Moonlight Forest? It's a matter of grave importance. Concerning the peace of the lands you lease. But do not dawdle, for the threat is growing ever awful. I have trouble reading this. I am so confused right now, but okay. I feel that all though. Mostly because I'm not sure how to read these things. If you have such an important thing to tell him, why don't you walk up to him and tell him directly? Not sure if I want to bring Grandpa to a forest where there are monsters. 
Let me guide you to his place. To his place, with you guys. Um, nay, for I fear there may be spies. Clearly a snake man under there. Must bring the mayor to the moonlight forest. Have other plans, you see? Sorry that it, it could not be. Need to be at the florist by three. That was a rhyme. And he's gone. Victor? Yes? I mean, that may have been the most suspicious guy in a robe I've ever seen. He seemed really out of it and really pushy too. Don't think we should bring my grandpa to the forest. I'll just go there alone and... No. No? Let's go get your grandpa and head to the moonlight forest together. Are you serious? Are you saying you trust that weirdo? Is, is this your adventurer's intuition again? Bingo bango, Aldo. I mean, they've been right so far. So I guess I need to bring Grandpa to the forest. Now, Aldo, this is just my intuition. Decision must be yours. Tick tock, tick tock. Hmm. Fine, I'll trust your intuition. Let's take Grandpa to the Moonlight Forest. I knew you'd say that. Now that you've made your choice, let us venture to Baruoki. Right, let's go back and explain what's going on. Quest accepted. How exciting. We lead our grandpa into a trap. Because we are heroes, it shall all work out. The decision was not fact it was not in fact Aldo's, but instead the story writers. For Aldo. Fabric of his reality. It is coming apart around him. Grandpapa! Grandpa, I'm home. Hi, laddie. Wait, I can do an old people voice. On our way in, I got stopped by this guy. Said he had something to tell you. Not this guy, though. Hey, nice place you got here. Could not have come at a more awkward time. Sorry, Grandpa, let me introduce. Hmm? Hmm? V v Victor! Yeah, Victor, how'd you guess? Wait, why are you doing that? That face, that smirk, that everything. After all this time, Victor, is that you? Ah, yep, it's me. And you're right, it has been a while. You're looking great. Wait, what? You guys know each other? Do we know each other? What we have is way more than that, Aldo. Someone going to explain what is going on here? You said it, old friend. What we have runs deep as the sea. Deep as the sea? See you here again makes living this long worth the years. Likewise. I can feel the fire in my heart burning red as the sun. Ready or not, Victor, here I come. Good. Grandpa, what in the world has gotten into you? Shut up, laddie, your grandpa's talking. I may be rusty, but to think this cane would come in handy. Your cane? It's been a hundred years, Victor. Steal thyself. Yikes, almost got me there. Still got it, old friend. If it wasn't me, you would have hit your mark for sure. <laughs> Don't patronize me. See, that annoying mouth of yours hasn't changed. You look the same, and you bother me the same. Still the same victor I went on adventures with. Hold on. You guys went on adventures together? Ages ago. Believe it or not, your grandpa here used to be quite spectacular. None of this makes any sense. No way you were alive when Grandpa was young. The storyline has by far the gayest overtone so far. You're here for it? <laughs> Except I was. In fact, we've known each other since we were kids. We're the exact same age, even. I, uh... Ow. This is a joke, right? You guys are pranking me. There's just no way... Nope, Victor's telling the truth. He's just as much a grandpa as I am. 
Victor, a grandpa? But why does he look so young? Heck if I know. Probably found some way to stop aging or something. Doesn't surprise me, by the way. Ah, observant as usual. You got it mostly right. How long has it been since our last adventure? And then here you are, showing up out of the blue. I had no idea you two knew each other. Hang on now. Victor, did you suggest coming here so you could see Grandpa? What? No. That was just my intuition. Screaming at me to come here today. Specifically today. There you go again with your intuition. Bah. Still blabbering about your stupid intuition after all these years. Don't listen to this man, although. His intuition got us into trouble more times than I can count. You too? When you say us, was it more than just you and Victor? Aye, there were five of us. There was King Miglance, the first of his name. King Miglance? He was our leader, in a way. Back then, he was still a prince, though. Oh, and the daughter of the blacksmith was there, too. Daughter of the blacksmith? You're not talking about May's grandmother, are you? Yep, she was stubborn, that one. Then there was a mage. Absolutely shocked right now. May not look it now, but believe it or not, we were young once. Gahaha. About that, uh, the guy that needed to talk to me. Is Victor that guy? Because if that's the case, you can go. I think we've talked enough for two lifetimes. Gaha. Hey, that's not something you say to an old friend. Oh, right. When we get the prequel game. <laughs> it wasn't Victor, Grandpa. That's so. Then who? We met this really strange hooded guy in the Carrick Swampland. He asked me to bring you to the Moonlight Forest. That something bad is happening in the forest and he needs to talk to you about it. I see. Well then, I guess we shouldn't keep him waiting. You sure you want to go, Grandpa? I mean, he seemed really sketchy. He could be dangerous. In fact, I was kind of hoping you'd, refu re you'd refuse. You already decided to bring him, Aldo, so I suggest we do. And don't worry, I won't let anything happen to this guy. Gaha, as if I needed your help. Laddie, forget this baby-faced geezer. We've got a man to meet. Grandpa, wait for me. Sheesh, stubborn old man sure hasn't changed. He didn't say anything about protecting him until we got to the Moonlight Forest, though. Look at Salasa's smug little face. He's such a happy kitty. Love him. I love him immensely in his little pudgy kitty body. He's so cute. Okay, back on the quest. Alright, no sign of monsters. So far, so good. Look at him go. Don't treat me like some old fart. I can take a monster or two. Almost got you in a almost got you a minute ago. Grandpa, behind you. The filths and the boy toy. Oh dear. Why, hello there, Mr. Goblin. Stand back, Grandpa. I'll take care of it. Gaha, as if. Watch your old Grandpa take care of this. Okay, wow. Gaha, takes more than a goblin to take me down. I can take a hundred without breaking a sweat. See that, Victor? I might be old, but I still got it. Ha, don't need a demonstration to see that. Grandpa, there's another one behind you. Oops. Phew, that was close. Never let your guard down, even in victory. One moment is all it takes. Is how the saying goes, right? You were the one who taught me that. Why, you little? There goes that mouth of yours. Never liked it. Alright, so I gotta know. You guys always been like this. As long as I can remember. I mean, I always considered him my best friend. It's just he always seems to be mad at me about something. Maybe if you actually stopped to think about why I get mad, you'd know. Act like you're this cool guy, but you always take things too far, and you always say too much. Make life an adventure boring. You always say what's going to happen next. 
Got a point there. Ah, well, now that you've told me what's wrong, I don't have to think about it. Bah. And the worst thing is, you always keep the most important part to yourself. I hate that part the most. Grandpa? Don't worry, Aldo, I got this. So, to summarize, we're basically best friends. Yeah, I don't think that's true. Won't fool me, Victor. You couldn't then, and you won't now. And don't you forget it. Look at him go! What was that about? No clue. We should probably go after him, though. It's with or without us, he's going to the Moonlight Forest. Oh wow, he's already pretty far. I didn't even know he could move that fast. That was Mahesti? Majestic. Ah, now it all makes sense. Grandpa, wait, I'm coming with you. Hmm, seems like he's on to me. Okay, you can get through this way. Make sure I didn't need backtrack. Not give in to temptation and grab that sparkly because I do not need it. Being attacked by very measly goblins. Rest in peace, measly no goblins. I am sorry that you were so stupid. Okay, looks like we gotta go a bit deeper into the moonlight forest. And I lost the ability to control my running. Rest and a bite of burrito. I can handle this alone. How foolish. Yummy? Yes, it is yummy. A little cold, though. So that's what happens when you, uh, just take bites between quests. So nice of you to show. You know, I was starting to think you wouldn't, though. You always rhyme. It's weird. I brought the mayor just like you wanted. Now, care to say why you brought me here? I heard there was trouble in the forest, but I don't see anything. Eh <laughs> that little thing I did feed a tiny trifle to mislead. Enticing words for you to heed. Esky pests to lure indeed. Trifle. A trifle, yes, a bait, you see. In other words, a curiosity to get you here to me, essentially. I knew it. You were acting way too suspicious for this to be anything but a trap. Now wait a moment, little man. This trap is canned as long as you give in to my demand. Hmm, then go ahead. Spit it out, Sonny. I betrayed you here to make a trade. You had the deed for far too long. It's time the, ri the rights were passed along. You're going to have to speak slower, son. Moonlight Forest, you old noon. Give it to me and give it soon. Why would you want the forest? Let me guess, you want the Prisma Ore. Hey, hey, good to see someone in this group of three is not as dumb as it may seem. The small village that you lead makes a waste of such an opportunity. These woods in my sole possession, the wealth I'll build is without question. Sorry to burst your bubble, Sunny. You can't just mine for Prisma. The forest gives it only to those who need it. Yeah. That may be how it worked before with superstitious folk. Fairy tales are such a bore, and regardless of what you're on about, I have I have ample funds to buy you out. Sorry, you're rhyming at the wrong guy. Mountains would move before you'd get him to change his mind, especially when it comes to making money off Prisma. Don't need anyone to talk for me, especially you, Victor. He's right. This forest will never belong to you. Put it in words you understand. I'm gonna kick your bunny if you 
Done run back home, Sunny. Was hoping we could coalesce our hearts, but I digress. Give me nay a choice, but to give my verdant friend a voice. Be ready for anything. Show yourself, my little pet, my precious pawn so violent. Hold on, my intuition is tingling, telling me that his pet is neither little nor precious. I, I think anyone can guess that, Victor. Right again, this was one ugly- that is one ugly pet. Also, he's more on the blue side. I need the man to take my turns, steal his grandson, make him squirm. Force will be mine before the hour strikes nine. Never get the chance. My special cane will make sure of that. Ah, Grandpa, you okay? Back, my back. That's what you get, swinging that thing around at your age, old man. Does the geezer. Anyway, leave this one to us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Although you know what to do. Good luck trying to hold me hostage. I mean, Aldo got transported to the future and then pretty much immediately wiped out the leader of the Synth Human Rebellion, so... Yeah. To be honest, most of these aren't that difficult fights, even if you don't have Tiramis. It's only the, uh, third level quests that can be kind of hard. Rat. Ready to give up? Heh. <laughs> It's unfortunate this matter could not be settled over chatter. Did he though, or did Tiramis do that? Well, Tiramis does pretty much everything. But now you all have forced my hand to murder all that for me stand. You what? Steed will come at quite the price. For reimbursement, blood will suffice. Not on my watch. I hope you are prepared, young lad. My next pet's over twice as bad. Now it's an abet abetos chieftain. Twice as ugly seems more accurate. Erg. Victor, protect Grandpa. What are you waiting for, Victor? He's gonna get killed. He doesn't need protection. What? My protection to be more specific. Huh? Oh yay, the rope that binds the do-good starts to fray. Now's our chance to seize the day. Grandpa, no! Stop right there. Wait a minute, that sounds like... What are you guys doing here? I'll explain later. May Nomar, I'll distract him with my bow. You two take it from there. Yes, sir. Teeny boppers. But terrifying little scraps. Too much milk and special vitamins, perhaps. Ah, Baruoki guards, I see. The picture is clearer now before me. Darn right, and we don't play nice with bullies and bad hats. You may leave, this time. But show your face again and we may not be so merciful. That's right, no mercy. Omar's gonna kill you if he sees you again. Peh. <laughs> Yeah, well, you all stink, and if you think I'll come back here to you greasy buccaneers, it is clear your brain is of a lower tier. Off you please. Thanks, guys, you got here just in the nick of time. I like to call these the Baruoki boys. Hey, no Margarunus. Aldo. Throw in Fainy. You know, and or Victor. Actually, you can fit the whole team of them. The timing was perfect, wasn't it? Why not just kill him? Mercy is overrated. You don't- you almost never kill humans in this game. That's why they pretty much always have monster pets that you beat up and then they run away like cowards. I think- ooh. You do kill King Palsipal. That's one of the few humans I can think of that you actually kill. It was a little too close, in my opinion. But- but at least we won. Yeah. Hey, Grandpa, you're doing okay. I think it must be some kind of, like, game thing. Like, um, ratings kind of thing where you can't, uh, 
can't just be killing people to have it at a lower rating or something. In Japan. My back is twisted, but other than that, I'm doing alright, laddie. Sorry you had to see me like this. More than that, why are you three here? We heard from someone that Aldo had a run-in with someone suspicious. Can only kill other sentients, not humans. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yes, extremely suspicious. So we came as soon as we heard. We thought, knowing Aldo, he probably didn't realize the guy was suspicious, so we came just in case. Hey man, the guy was so suspicious, Aldo, Aldo even knew. <laughs> Did you know they were coming? What do you think, my dear boy? Try not to sweat the details. We should head back to Baroki anyway. If not for the fact we need to do something about your grandpa's back. You're right. He needs to rest. Bug, I hate to admit it, but Victor is right. Let's go back to Baruoki. You know what? We're just gonna map travel there because I'm lazy. And I don't want to eat burrito. was about to say, you think I just want to bite? <laughs> hey now, there's no reason I can't be lazy and want to eat a burrito. How's your back holding up, Grandpa? Huh? I barely even notice it. Pain is all in the... Grandpa. Good grief, I see you're still trying to overcome pain with the ancient art of ignoring. Stop being so stubborn and get some rest. Don't give me this, I'm still fit enough to go on adventures, malarkey either. Adventures? What does he mean, Grandpa? How, how did you know? I don't think he said no. How couldn't I? First you blab about this special cane of yours. Then you try and hit me with it, and then we go out and you kill this goblin all like I still got it. It's clear you've been training. Too bad about the back, though. Training? You knew it was a trap, but you went because you missed the adventure. Ugh. Uh-huh. Listen, I'm glad we got to go on one last adventure together. Stalja out the wazoo. However, you and I both know there's something more important to you than adventures. Your village and its people. Victor. Keep that special cane of yours, just use it to protect your people, okay? Or else I'll be holding on to this sword of yours for no reason. <laughs> Gay overtones. I didn't know that belonged to Grandpa. I have two. One's mine, one's his. You always use yours and keep his in the... The other way around. Why? My sword is reserved for some very specific opponents. And also, I've been using his for so long, I kinda just got used to it. Just got used to it, my butt. One day, out of the blue, you challenged me for a chance to borrow my sword. Then, after you won, you left without saying a word. So, Grandpa, you're saying he got away with a win and your sword. Ha, ah, I just went out for a walk and, well, one thing led to another and I set out for adventure. But swords, hee <laughs> hee. Walk schmock, how many years do you think I've been waiting for you? Sorry, friend. By the way, Aldo, I'm getting another call from the old intuition. May Darunus and Nomar want to do dinner. They do? You and I both know he's probably right, so go on, laddie. We'll be fine here. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll be back later. You two play nice. Another reason I can't stand you is you're too good a liar. More overtones? <laughs> hey, we're supposed to be playing nice. You're planning on going one-on-one -on -one with that monster, aren't you? <clears throat> ah, can't get one past you, can I? 
You think this is funny? That thing almost killed us. What makes you think you can go fight it alone? I'll be fine. Leave him to me. If you're well enough to swing that cane around, then I'll have no problem swinging your sword. Victor? You have people to protect, right? Let me go take that thing down. Once I'm done, I'll come back here and we can celebrate. For the record, I don't plan on involving Aldo. Seems like you've grown up a bit. I'll give you that. But I'll have you know my grandson is no slouch. Remember that. Ah, alright. I'll keep that in mind. Now the important thing to see is if we need to clear the Celestial Tower to do his uh, next quest or not. Oh wait, we're gonna... Uh, thing. The big mummy man. We're gonna kill the big... Well, that's concerning. Don't be worried. We will murder it. But all will be well. Oh, good. We can we can do all the way to his last quest. Nice. Why am I running the unit when I can map trout there and eat burrito? Oh. Need food. Keep nearly actually traveling to the mirror room, but we have no reason to go there. They have a massive stack of Taco Bell napkins. We visit Taco Bell far too frequently. There are rumors of a monster that appears and disappears in Unigit. Victor seems to know something about what's going on. Fucking blue shoes. Hey, Victor. Hello there, Aldo. Where shall adventure take us today? I can tailor it to whatever it is you want to do. I'll pass, thanks. Actually, I got this thing from an old lady back in the inn. She says she wants you to have it. What you got there? Oh, well. It's Meteor Hammer. Boy, this takes me back. I used to get them all the time back in the day. What's Meteor Amber? It's candy. You can only get these star-shaped goodies here in Unigan, but not many people know about them. They shine like crystals, and because of that, are really popular with the ladies. They're called Meteor Amber because it said the original recipe included amber from a meteor that fell here in Unigan. But, I mean, that's just what they say. I like it. It's romantic. That old lady gave it to me to cheer you up. Said you looked glum. Me? Glum? I mean, you do seem a bit stressed. You've been that way ever since we had that run-in with Grandpa. You're a smart one, Aldo. Your powers of observation will take you far in the adventure game. Thanks. Why don't we each take one? They have just the right amount of sweetness. Go great with tea, too. Yeah, I mean, they look amazing, but Victor, I'd rather talk about how you've been acting lately. Those meteor amber I see. I used to get those from my wife all the time. Is King Miglance. King Miglance. Try one, Aldo. I don't really know why, but for some reason only girls are able to find them. That's why so few people know about them. Never knew you had such a sweet tooth, King Miglance. Ah, I just stepped out to see the town. Who knew I'd end up walking down memory lane? By the way, Aldo, who's your friend there? Alright, where are my manners? This is my companion, Victor. 
Victor. Hmm. Nice to meet you, Victor. If you're a friend of Aldo's, then we'll likely be seeing a lot of each other. Victor, come on, man. This is the king. Oh, I know. Hey. Hey. Watch your tone when speaking to King Miglant. Long time no see, Caddy. Who? Man, you sure did get big. I thought you were your dad there for a second. Victor, remember who you're speaking to? It's okay, Aldo. To be honest, I'm actually quite shocked. The man who trained me as a child filled my heart head with tales of adventure standing before me once again. Huh? It's been a bit, huh? Are you kidding me? But my lord, how is it possible for a man this young to have trained you? I honestly don't know, but there's only one man who has ever called me Caddy. But yes, you're right. He looks exactly the same as he did back when he was teaching me the ways of the sword. How could that be? It's a long story, but allow me to apologize for just up and leaving without saying goodbye. There's simply nothing left to teach you. I find this whole thing hard to believe. <laughs> Old Dilf. <laughs> apologize. Don't be ridiculous. You taught me everything I know. I have nothing but appreciation for what you did for me. You really have become quite the man, Caddy. In fact, I feel like I shouldn't be calling you Caddy anymore at all. So, Cadlim, how about we go for a drink? Haha, I'd like that very much. We've got lots to catch up on. You calling me Cadlim is going to take some getting used to, though. M my lord. The knight, at ease. What word do you bring from the Rukiana Sands? Something going on at the Rukiana Sands? We've been getting reports of Zarbovian girls going missing there. And some sightings of a giant bandaged monster roaming the sands. Bandaged monster. We were able to track the monster down, and when we did, we began efforts to destroy it. And? But it proved to be too formidable, and orders were issued to retreat. retreat. Then we must send reinforcements immediately. Allow me to go. Sir Victor. Please, if it's the monster I know, then sending more men will just lead to more slaughter. You know this monster, Victor? Unfortunately, yes. Too well, in fact. The description you gave matches up exactly. The only thing that seems off is its connection with the disappearances. Regardless, if you don't mind, Cadlim, I'd like to go take it on myself. You know how strong the monster is, and I know how strong you are. So, if you wish to fight, I, then I shall grant that wish. Then it's settled. I'm coming too. Let's head to the Rakyana Sands. Stop. Sorry, but my Alexa was talking to me. No, Aldo, I have to do this alone. You might have history with this monster, but with the way you've been acting lately, I can't let you go alone. My dear Aldo. Fine, you can come. Good, to the Rakyana Sands. Excitement. Back to the desert we go. Oh, good. Off to the side. Yep. This time I actually do need the map because I can't walk to the Rakyana Sands. Oof. Oh, yawn. Rukiana Sands! Oh, I think I can just pop out of the Dogma Tower. Oop. Where do we need to be in the Rukiana Sands? Oh, we're real close. How convenient. Look at this desert. Sandy and lovely. Some kind of broken architecture over here. The heat waves kind of bother me though because it's so squishy. I don't see anything. Indeed. But he's out there. I just know it. How can you be so sure? Because this is where he used to roost. Thing is though, that roost got destroyed long ago and him with it. Kinda. Much haze, much wow. 
roost got the boot, but the rooster became a brute, if you know what I mean. Wait, so it's a bird? No, Aldo, it was just a metaphor. You heard what the king said. It's a big monster with a bunch of bandages wrapped around it. Roost is the ancient ruins that used to be around here. Ancient ruins? Yeah, it's said that a witch used the ruins to store magical relics and the monster was created to guard them. You seem to know a lot about it. Have you ever been there? Dot dot dot. Aldo. What? I need you to do me a favor. Oh, I thought you were going to answer my question. I want you to promise me you won't lay a finger on that monster if it shows up. Wait, why? Erg, what was that? Bandages? Scary looking. Hey. There he is, Aldo. Years ago, my companions and I were driven to the absolute brink. By this monster. What? We used some unorthodox methods to eke out a win. Something about that battle didn't see, see, sit right with me. There was something telling me that w that somehow, somewhere, this guy was out there biding his time. Orthodox methods. Party had been all had all been had. Party had been all been. Party had all had the party had been all but wiped out except for me. Then out of nowhere, a voice began to speak. It told me that if I gave up my future, it would give me the power to defeat the beast. What do you mean by give up your future? Without giving it a second thought, I agreed to the voice's terms. And when I did, it imbued the blade with all the all power and experience I was to gain through the rest of my life. Since then, I have neither aged nor have I grown. I'm exactly the same victor as I was the day of that battle. That's terrible. Victor. I'm fine. This thing is just as strong as it was the first time we fought. Not telling my companions about it was the right thing to do. Even if your grandpa figured it out anyway. He knew? Wait a minute. Having a flashback? What, what's happening? Bah, and the worst thing is you always keep the most important part to yourself. Hate that part the most. Won't fool me, Victor. You couldn't then, and you won't now. Don't you forget it. Swoosh is the right term for that. This must be what Grandpa was talking about. Didn't want you to know either, but you really didn't give me much of a choice. This monster is a ghost from my past that only I can exercise. Alright, I get it. But the second I feel you're in danger, I'm jumping in. Fine. Come on, just let Tiramis handle it. What the heck is that? Nothing I can't handle is what it is. With a cloak? Yeah, with a cloak. Look closer, Aldo. It's coated with protective magic. Now it's my turn. The stone on your belt is glowing. That's the blessing given to me by this crystal belt. It gives its wearer unbelievable power. Then, yes, that is his thoughts. Your sword. Kept this blade nice and sharp for you, old friend. Now, have at you. Gah! Steady on eh? Did we get him? Oh, he repoofed into existence. Damn, it's back. Fear not, Aldo. I knew this was coming. This is how he got us the last time. But you can't fool me twice, monster. Now fall. Oosh. He exploded. Body, soul, all sliced to millions of pieces. He will not rise again. Victor. That was amazing. I didn't even need to help. I'm glad that I could do this on my own. Finally end this chapter of my life. Victor. Ah, sorry for getting all moody on you, Aldo. Next to doubt. 
I mean, it's only natural you feel something after you defeat something that has been haunting you for this long. Now all that's left is to find the missing girls. Oh my. Oh right, my intuition is telling me they're somewhere in this desert. Got it. Say, Victor. What's up? Once we find those girls and tell King Miglance, how about you and me, you and me go pay Grandpa another visit? If I had to guess, he was acting so angry at you because he was worried about you. So I think you should go back and tell him that this whole ordeal is finished. My dear Aldo. Right, you're right. No, he's probably just going to yell at me again, but telling him is the right thing to do. Sure, he'll just be happy to know you're okay. Before we do that, let's go find those girls. Hee hee hee. Not so fast, boys. I'm afraid you won't be going anywhere. Who was that? I really need to differentiate my voices, but it's, it's real hard. Oh, my little Victor. How I missed you so. I'm so glad I finally found you. Wait a minute. You know her, Victor? Yeah. Of course he does. We spend all that time traveling together, after all. So that means... Yep, she's the fifth member of our group, Louise the Mage. She's... Indeed. Louise, how is it you haven't changed since we last met? Hehe, <laughs> I mean, isn't it obvious? I gained the same power from the ruins you did. What? But how? The ruins were destroyed. There's no way the relics could have survived. Ah, your stupidity is almost adorable. I just used magic to find the relics. Yes, the ruins were destroyed, but the relic room survived. Teehee. So you don't age just like Victor. Rude, the power I got is immortality. I age like anyone else. I just never die. What? But you look so young. Oh, this old thing? Your girl's got a super secret beauty regimen. Here's a hint for you. It's a little bit magic and a little bit girls from Zarbo. Tee hee hee hee. What? No, Louise, it can't be. I simply can't believe you would do something like that. B -b believe it, Victor. If a girl looks tasty, I take a bite, so to speak. Okay, I just zap all the energy from their bodies. Tee hee hee hee. For the record, it's not just Zarbovian girls. I've been on the Nubile diet for decades. How could you do this? I go from girl to girl, throwing them out once I'm done with them. I mean, don't get me wrong, I feel bad for them, but what do you expect me to do? Grow old? Ugh, no. This isn't the Louise I know. You're ruining these girls' lives for what? Clear skin? Do. Do you even know the evil you sow? The Louise I knew wouldn't have sought immortality to begin with. Uh, Victor, it's all your fault. What? Remember that time we all almost died fighting the monster in the ruins? Yeah, I saw how you got your whole Never Ever Ages superpower. I didn't know how you got it, but I knew you got it, and boy, I was I mad about it. Ugh, I was so jealous. After we parted ways, I went back to see if there was any more of that magic madness from moi. You have to understand, Victor didn't do this because he wanted it. He was... Brr, will the idiot please shut up? So when I went back, I was all, give me some of that ancient anti-aging cream. They, all they had left was immortality. Boo. The relic had more than one power. At first, I was all, this is fine. But then I started getting older and ugh, could you imagine? Living forever as an old hag. Seriously, I'd rather die. So the only fair thing was to sacrifice young girls. Smart, right? Problem is, I'm kind of hitting my limit. Limit? Drink the life force from as many girls as I have, and you'll know. You build up a tolerance. Hee <laughs> hee. Which is why, like, I'm so lucky to have found you, Vicky Poo, because I totally need a favor from you. What would that be? Die, please. Pretty, 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 please. What? Who would ever agree to die? How can a person be so selfish? I want him to die, because the power that grants him eternal youth will be returned to the relic it came from, Tihi. Then I can take that power, Tee, and be young, Ki, and immortal, Ki, forever, Tihihihihi. Think of all the girls you'll save. How about Victor lives and you just stop killing girls? Louise, 
Yes. Just so you know, even if you say no, I'm just going to use my magic to... I'll do it. I'll die. What? I said I'll die. What are you waiting for? I've done all I wanted to do in this life. Hurry up and get it over with. I can't. Victor, are you crazy? How could you agree to this? Although, if it takes dying to save lives, then I'd be crazy not to. But still. I've lived long enough. I've been granted way more than enough time for one man. Besides, a young guy like you shouldn't be out gallivanting with a geezer like me. My time is over. Besides, my intuition tells me this is the right choice. Victor. I hate to break it to you, but your intuition is wrong this time. I won't let you kill Victor. You're going to stop killing women. So annoying. You're like a mini Victor. Can you imagine? I almost feel bad for you. But if you want to fight, we can do that. I don't think you'll be able to handle my magic. Although no, I don't want to get you involved and she's one of the strongest mages around. You can't win. Shut up, Victor. What? You're my friend, Victor. I don't care if you think you've done enough or any other excuses you can come up with. I won't let you just give up like that. Although... My eyes could not be rolling any harder at this. I feel like I should give her like a stupid voice, but I don't know how. Listen, little man, if you want to die, I can just start with you and then kill Victor. Aldo, run. That was more like dragging Aldo off. Hey, I'm charging up my magic here. Oh well, doesn't matter. They can run, but they can't hide. Tee hee hee. Safe for now. Victor. Your words are starting to make me waver. This is bad. Let's return to Zarbo and think about a way to stop Luis. Sounds like a plan. A Zarbo! Which I think should be straight this way. Okay, there's an enemy in the way. We'll just, uh. Ooh. You know what, actually? Is it blue? It's blue. We can, we can kill this thing easy. Level 38. Oh. We do need some summoner's gift for things, I think, above level 30. Oh, actually, we may not. We might be able to use for the summoner's ritual. I should test it and see. First, we must kill this massive suit of armor. How am I? If this isn't Since the my hair is holding my back. Eye. Okay, Summoner's Gift, Cat Deity Guardian, Water Slash, and yeah, you can do Run Attack. Wow. Shift Cat Hook, Dragons, Nirvana, Lightning Speed. Victor's main purpose is charging the AF bar very quickly because he's a multi-hitter and his abilities charge it extra. Because people who hit more than once uh, charge it more. But not AoEs. AoEs only count for hitting an enemy more. GG easy. Yes, we are very strong now. We can beat up the desert monsters. I think once we get Victor to an acceptable level, it'll be a lot easier. M mostly the issue is that he would always You're die fighting the witch, so me. he needs to be a higher level so he doesn't die so easily. Time to test if uh, some of his ritual works on these guys. It does! Sweet, they have less than 5,000 or less health. I love this kitty. I love all the kitties. At this moment, I love this kitty. I can't believe she was responsible for the missing girls. She has, has she always been like this? Dot dot dot. No. She was always a bit of a troublemaker, but she was good at heart. Always thoughtful, but always put others before herself. Why, I'm so taken aback by all of this. Pretty nerds. Pretty... Nerds? Maybe? I see. 
What does your intuition say? Pretty birds. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Remember how she said she did all of this out of jealousy? My intuition tells me that she's lying. Why would she be lying? Lie doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, she's still killing women and we have to stop her. I wonder if any are still alive. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, boys. Yeah, I wonder. Louise. So, I have a little surprise. Remember those Zarbo girls you were just talking about? They're actually all alive. Aren't I the best? Really? Yes, I just said they were. Hello. Catches you boys get to decide just how long they live. Hee <laughs> hee. If you don't come back right now, I'm gonna start sipping on Zarbovian smoothies till they all become old hags. You can't. So if you want to stop me, you better come back. I'm waiting. Tee hee 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 hee. Dot dot dot. What should we do? She's immortal, so our chances of winning are slim to none. Not a huge fan of this idea, but I think we should go on the defense. Go on the defense. I'll use my cloak to drain as much of her magic as I can. She may be immortal, but her magic has a limit. Once she runs out, we attack. Is there anything you want me to do while we wait? Hmm. Perhaps you can help me hold this. They help me hold this or help me by holding this? A gem? For what? You'll see. Now let's go find Louise. Yana Sands it is then. Back the way we came. About face. Turn to Louise and this. Okay, then we just go right back to where we were. I guess she didn't move. But we have conveniently killed the horror, so we no longer need to worry about it. I can handle this alone. We've got green harpies and then these I think they're rocks. That rainbow rock. Not sure why the desert is full of green harpies, but it is. I understand the sandworms. I sort of understand the weird dinosaur birds. Not the harpies, though. Oh, the dog went tower. Oh dear. Attacks just as I tried to look at the map. Desert worm. These guys. They are a nuisance. I do not look forward yes, to killing a hundred of them again. Awesome. Probably put it off until I have the encounter increase rate badges. Which means a very long time. Oh, oh! I passed it! I passed it and I walked into an enemy attack! Let's have some fun! Oh uh, yeah, I don't understand the mushrooms either. I don't think mushrooms are really a desert thing. Did you see my graceful moves? Could be wrong though. I've never uh, really been to a desert. We've returned. Wow, you actually came back, Victor. Teehee. Of course I did. So, are we having ourselves a sacrifice or what? Did you convince your little friend? Yeah, mushrooms like damp. Yeah, see, I feel like they would uh, not do well. Maybe they live under... I say maybe they live under the desert, but I wouldn't imagine it's terribly damp down there either. Just cooler. Trying to defeat cats. Louise! I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm not supposed to die here. Come again? He said he's not giving in to your demands, Louise. Ugh, whatever. Regardless if you agree to my terms or not, I was going to kill you anyway. Tee hee. Here we go, Aldo. Get behind me. On it. Bird. So strong. So you're just going to stand there and block. You may look young, but man, you are old. Let me guess. You're biding time before my magic runs out. Do you think I'm stupid? Erg. Hee hee. Then let's see just how much you can take. Erg. For power, it's too strong. Are you okay, Victor? On it. Why try so hard? The end result will be the same regardless, so why not just get it over with quick? Result will be the same? Erg. Victor. 
Bo Vicky Poo. There you go again, leaving out the important details. That little cloak he has, that belt, 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 they both steal his life force. Tee hee. No way. Arg. When he uses them both, it's even worse. That's why you never used them. Wonder what runs out first, my magic or your life? Hee hee hee. So it would save us all a lot more time if you just died. No, I still have fire left. Gur. It's not Gur, that's good. Victor. Oh my gosh, you can't even stand. Okay, well, I'm just going to take care of the boy and then I'll get to you. All the anger you'll feel from watching your friend die will be ample punishment for making me try. Tee hee hee. Arg. Ah, how cute. You actually think that's enough to stop me? Aldo! Um, what is that thing? Uh, what the? Why aren't you dead? Nice, it worked. Victor, this gem just started shining. Is this stealing your life force too? No, it's a defensive magic that activated in response to your mental fortitude, my dear Aldo. I wasn't totally sure if it would work, but I knew if anyone could use it, it was you. you used to make your grandpa carry it back in the day. I had no idea. Okay, I'm officially bored. Time to die, boys. What? Gonna turn into a monster? Yes. Louise, what have you done to yourself? I'll just kill you both at the same time. Teehee. That's the other thing. You can kill people if they turn into a monster first. Like Power Rangers. If the enemy looks human, they have to turn into a monster so you can kill them. Victor, I think it's time we change our strategy. No more cloaks. Okay, fine. It gives us no other choice. Just remember that gem won't work a second time. I can handle this alone. see how much we actually have to try. Not too much, I'm gathering. Probably because Nakoko and uh, Tiramis are level 60. Actually, I think they're above level 60 at this point. Shall we venture on? Good. Didn't expect her to be this tough. Tee hee 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 hee. Hello, I'm a mortal. Attack and attack and attack all you want. You will never win. Arg, I can't move. Aldo. Poor boys got all tuckered out before they could drain my power. Ah. Uh. Before I finish the job, Victor, I'd like to talk to you somewhere a little more private, shall we? You don't, he dies now. Don't do it, Victor. Don't worry about me. My dear Aldo. Victor, if you don't come back, think about what that will do to Grandpa. Don't go. Uh, Victor's definitely gonna die. Sorry, Aldo. Huh? Do me a favor, will you? Tell Galeus that I'm sorry. Victor, no. I'm going to assume that's Grandpa. Back in the ruins. Good old times, am I right? I was thinking, what place would be better to bury you than the place you got your power? Teehee. Hidden relic. One and only. And after you die, it's all mine. I cannot let you leave this place alive. My responsibility is your former companion to stop you here and now, even if it kills me in the process. You can try. You're still going to die. Hee hee hee. Did you go stupid on me? You're holding your weapon backwards and I haven't even gotten a scratch. 
No, you're unharmed by design. Oh, I get it. Tee hee. You're aiming for the relic. Because if you destroy the relic, then we both lose our powers. Ew, no, 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 no. Can't believe I actually destroyed the relic. You did it knowing full well you'd turn old too. Yeah, and I'm fine with it. Eternal youth wasn't something I wanted in the first place. Dot dot dot. I know. Huh? I didn't know why, but I knew you, and I knew you wouldn't do something so selfish. Then why? Because I'm stupid, Victor. When I saw you gained eternal youth, I just didn't want to get left behind. Left behind? What do you mean? I was the one who got left behind. No, I just couldn't stand seeing myself getting older while you can stay young. We'd get older and you'd still go on adventuring long after we all died. And I couldn't stand to see you watch me get old. Louise? I know, I know. This was all just a big mistake. I just wanted to be with you, but then, as time went by, I started to change. Dot dot dot. Say, Victor? What, Louise? Remember Meteor Amber? The candy girls give to boys to tell them how they feel. Wow. Let's kill the stupid wench. Yes. That candy- okay, wait, wait, wait. That Turn into sparkle dust. No, I did not like you. You're being aggressive, apparently. I'm sorry, Victor, for everything. He's one with the force now. Don't worry, Louise. I'll be there soon. Erg, this body? I can barely walk. I like how when he turned old, he grew a huge uh, mustache and little beard. My vision's blurry, and breathing takes so much effort. Eh, I guess this is it. Sparkle. Hmm? Blah, old vampire body hobos deserve it. <laughs> what is... Treasure is being restored. Maybe because the power of immortality returned? Huh? I'm young again. Adventurer. Voice. Do you not want a life that never ends? What? Damn, Gileas, guys. Adventurer. What? Who's there? Do you not want power that eliminates all threat? What? Give me- <clears throat> give me your time, your growth, your future, and I shall grant it all to you now. What? Now choose, adventurer. Take it all, I don't care. Just give me the power to save them. Choose, adventurer. I refuse. What I have now is all I ever need. Faded out of existence. Victor! <coughs> need water. I'll go, my boy. There you are. 
I looked all over the desert and I can't believe you were down here this whole time. Ah, sorry about that, buddy. So, where is Louise? Ah, yeah, we won't have to worry about her anymore. I took care of it. Oh, okay. Why don't we go find those girls, then? About that, they were all in a room on I, I found on my way in. They were all unharmed. Great news, my boy. Let's bring them back to Zarbo. Off he zooms. Collapsed. Okay, back to Zarbo. Oh, that's an awfully long walk. Therefore, it is clearly time for Burrito Bite. <laughs> Certified Nomer. I also smacked myself in the face with my burrito. Sometimes I'm hungry. Gotta eat food. I was gonna eat a cold potato, but then I was already out and I was like, burrito! Goodness, she kidnapped children. I'm just glad they all got back safe. Tell me about it. Did you pick up the movie? Yes, I did. I did. I gotta set up the TV and stuff, though. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do after I finish streaming. Ruins collapsed the minute we left. Do you mind telling me what happened back there? It's a long story, but okay. Woohoo. Yes, indeed. Very woohoo. Wow. I think you became old for a second. I honestly thought I was done for. I could barely stand. I was sure it was the end of this long and crazy journey I've been on. But in that moment, I also felt regret. Regret? I regretted the, the fact that I didn't get to go on as, on as many adventures with you as I wish I could have. Show you the world the way I see it. Victor? I was shocked, to be honest. I had always felt my adventures were over, but there I was, wishing for more. I'd always felt hurt by being left behind by my old companions. I had always thought that after I defeated that monster, I could finally rest. You're always trying to do it on your own, after all. Ah, I used to believe that if my friends were safe, then I'd be happy. It was a weakness that manifested itself in a bad way. It took you yelling at me to snap me out of it. Listen, I just didn't want to give up on you. Promise me you'll never give up like that again. Deal. Huh? Seems like my adventuring days aren't over just yet. <laughs> time to ditch the former label and devote all my time to... Going on adventures with my dear boy Aldo. Er, you know, you don't have to do all that. Fear not, Aldo. Can you cut it out with the you don't have to do all that crap? You sound like your grandpa. It's called being polite, Victor. My dear Aldo, you're too pure. Now, just tell old Victor what kind of adventure you want next, because I plan on making it a doozy. And also, next time we're in Baroki, I think I'm gonna challenge that grandpa of yours to a duel. He was looking pretty strong last time, I bet he'd put up a good fight. Yeah, sure, whatever. But about the adventure part. Grandpa, help me! You want to race, is that it? A racing adventure, how exciting. That's the spirit, Aldo. My intuition tells me this adventure will be the best one yet. We have completed all of Victor's quests. Let's see if we can level his abilities a bit. Oh well, we don't have that one because uh, we don't have his another style. But we got these three done. Can't do that one. Ability board. Because you see, to unlock his another style, we would need 
that over. Why is it taking so long to load? There we go. We would need five um, Omatotl treatises, 90 murmur scripts, 30 prayer scripts, and five chant scripts. Uh, the old days when you don't have enough murmur scripts. I have, in, in, on mobile, I have over 999 of both of these. I got like four of these though, so this is the same. I don't have any Omatotl treatises though, which is a pity because uh, I would really like to unlock his another style. It's supposedly quite good. And also, he's cool, so. Let's see, let's unlock this skill. These skills, which are basically upgrades of his basic skill, are locked behind best progress. I don't have- maybe I have some scrolls. I'm gonna need three more points to get that one. Fetus. Let's feed you all the scrolls we've got, Victor. Eat them. Eat the scrolls. I'll go faster if I can. Eat all of the scrolls, Victor. We used to feed them to Nakoko, but Nakoko's actually doing pretty good now, so she doesn't need- She doesn't need to eat the scrolls because she's our second highest level character. Okay, that gives us enough. That, and that. There we go. Scrolls are kind of like burritos. I mean, I do- I do like to say eat them. I mean, they're one use. So is eating. Thunderous Blade. Increases another force combo rate. And, and, and it hits four times speed okay that's that one so tempest is preemptive attack okay yeah i think he'll be good he'll be good to go to fight um witch Let's see if we can give him a better katana well we can definitely get him a better katana but i haven't been farming them <sighs> Should look at the weapons a bit Okay, so he's good. No more needs some more leveling, but he's good too. I think we're gonna use Rosetta. Um, we don't have to use Rosetta, actually. We can use Nakoko, our healer. We just have to make sure she has a uh, badge so she can't get turned to stone. She has an in badge right now, though. But I'll equip her back. Wait, actually, I don't think we need to worry about getting turned to stone for this fight. We have Tiramis just because she's really high level. Cyrus is pretty good as well. We'll drop Rosetta. And maybe slot in. Deirdre is not as good as she could because we don't have 5 star Deirdre. We might slot in... Nika? Or we could run Sawyer. Wait, no, I think Sawyer is stuck as a 3 star, which makes her a really trash tank. Is. Oh, that's very sad. I was gonna say, we might just run 2 tanks as sacrificial offerings. I have a debuff actually. If we've got someone with a debuff, we can just swap them back and forth to debuff bitch. Feed and physical. What are your debuffs, uh, Cyrus? You debuff int. We really want people who can debuff int. You don't debuff int. Okay, so. Main team for this fight will be you, Nakoko, and Victor. We've got Nomar. What's your ability? Nomar? Speed and physical. He's mostly here to be a tank. Once someone- I think maybe Helena has an int down. It lags a lot in here. I don't like it. Nope, she has an int buff. Who's got an int down? Maybe it's Aldo. Tina, Sawyer, Rosetta. Really need to pay closer attention to what their Valor chants do. Okay, speed down. A resistance. Up. Okay, okay, Nika. We'll run Nika then. She's got a debuff. And then we can also run... I guess we can swap Nika and Cyrus around. Probably also need to do her quests. We'll work on that next time. We'll work. We'll work on getting Nick up to up to everyone else's uh level. Next time, we'll take a. We'll get Salas out of the out of the sand. There we go. Take a look at this gorgeous, gorgeous kitty. 
Look at him run. So majestic. Beautiful. Anyway, that is all for now. Thank you for coming by, Grimthorpe and uh, Wicked Willow, or Crimson Willow, sorry. Uh, see you tomorrow!